Enron is the beginning of all the mess that we're <laughs> in right now. Enron is an amazing concept that went awry. How's that for uh, But if you're talking about the play, it's an evocation of an amazing concept that went awry. Enron is a, um, is a play about the company Enron that collapsed uh, about uh, 10 years ago. This is a wild ride. This is, uh, this is the story of Enron. This is the story of specifically the, the four linchpins who helped to bring, uh, bring that company notoriously down. I was always interested in the world of business and the excitement of business and the thrill of business and the things that aren't really talked about that much and the fact that, um, the fact that the companies and business aren't represented that much on stage or in art. So I, um, I, thought, that, um, I thought that there must be a story that tells, uh, you know, that is an exciting story about business. And of course, when I, when I was thinking about that, there was a time about around the time of the fall of Enron or just after. When we, when we first started working on it, we wanted to uh, take a subject that seemed maybe a little... Um, kind of fascinating to people because everyone's interested in, in financial collapse and the financial problems of the world, but turn it into a kind of big vaudeville spectacle. It's an amazing piece of theatre is what it is, and uh, the, the way that Lucy Preble has written it to um, not only entertain, but really tell the story of, of how this company went down, and um, I think it's so prevalent to today, what's still going on, what's happening with Lehman Brothers, but she does it in such a way that anyone can understand it. They get the smart economic stuff out of the way you're being fed the information you don't even know it and so what they're able to do then is to unveil the the humanity what was what is motivating these these four four characters these people are tragic at, at moments these people are you know pathetic and lost or driven and ambitious and every now and then the only place that you can go in the theater is to just blow it all up and break into song or dance or have something fly out of the sky or fire. <laughs> there are song and dance numbers, there's a lot of satire, um, a lot of um, choreography and, uh, uh, and a couple of songs and uh, I think that's what people enjoy most is that they get you know, a, a proper play about you know, a major issue but it comes with a lot of bells and whistles in front. Lucy and Rupert have found all of these incredibly um, smart, specific, and wildly entertaining metaphors, theatrical metaphors, that represent these complicated financial structures. And it's a lot of fun. I mean, it really is a lot of fun. I watch it and I'm just, I'm so excited by it. So hopefully you will be too. If you're coming to see, you know, a straight up musical, you're going to see something else. I think you will not be disappointed, but uh, you're, it's not, it's not traditional. There's nothing, it's really hard to, to sort of pin it down to another piece of theater that I've seen, which is why I think people should get up and come see it.